the entire concept of a religion to begin with. Yeah. They and they thought it'd be a good story. Yeah, they were like talking about, you know, being nailed to a cross and all these other things because they want to make a good story and they just use human beings as puppets basically. Yeah. You know, I think that we should start with the first movie because we haven't seen a lot from that. And mm-hmm. additionally, um, in those first two scenes there and there, uh-huh. we can get those two ladies because we don't have a lot of them. Let's go on here. The first time, I'm just going to pause this because uh, we'll just do this lady. This yeah. right here. Antonio, shut the door behind her. She's thrilled to have Ambrosio in her house. Crosses herself. Turns and Have we already seen them this? to look through the keyhole, eye to the keyhole, watches. Ambrosio signs on face as he listens to Avira confess her sins. His gorgeous eyes are attentive and pure. Back to interior, Jaginta's house, <coughs> Carador. Antonio watches, and wraps short. She starts when Ambrosio is finished, stands and quickly, silently walks to her door, opens it and enters her room. Arthur. What's Ambrosio thinking here? This is his first time ever leaving the Abbey. Am I just following my libido? Am I intending to seduce Antonia? <laughs> Don't worry too much are about bearable. that. I can't stand these people. Keep your face blank so the audience can project onto it. You are their vessel. I they mean... will see you looking, and then we will cut to what you're looking yeah, at. Through you, they will see. You will be looking for them, so use your eyes. Sophia, Marissa, your job is to be looked at. Oh my god. This, rem- yeah. this reminds me of like the top 10 movies of all time all feature a character who's just nothing. Which is why Twilight got to be so popular because Bella is also nothing. But like you think of Neo, nothing. Um, everybody, Aragorn, he's nothing. He just hangs out and is greasy. Like, Rick's Elves. Yeah, and then he, they pretty much said out loud, and then the women are there to look at and be pretty. It was like, okay, but what about the women in the audience? What are those? What, what do you mean? They're not people. Do they have money? <laughs> <laughs> Let us try. Okay, Antonia. Sweet innocence. Now look at Matilda. Pure carnality. You see, you will desire what the audience desires. The more you let them use you, the more brilliant they will think you're acting. <laughs> you don't need to film this. Okay, right, who should we look at? This lady again? I think we should, we should keep looking at the side people, because that's... We haven't done it in a lot. Oh, here she is in the movie. Oh, gosh. Yeah. No. I do not remove my veil in public, senor. Where is the harm? The other ladies have removed there? It is not custom in Murcia, senors. We are newly arrived here. Well, this is Madrid, senora. In Madrid? You show your face like a flat! We show God our faces when he speaks to us. Oh, God, this kind of creeps me out. I hate this. We must hush now, for here comes his vessel. The holiest of men. Super holy. Would never do too. anything unholy. Oh no, she's getting horny. Beloved horny. congregation. There are many of you here today. I see much finery. Expensive clothes. Beautiful hair. But I see little holiness. Burn. I see wantonness. I see God's servants doled up like peacocks here in his house to see and to be seen. Who amongst you is truly innocent? Who amongst you is not soiled the perfect flesh gifted to you by our Lord? I hate everything about this. Some of you, perhaps, but not many, I wager. Lent approaches. A period for which we deny ourselves of everything. A time when temptation appears to us like it did to our Lord Jesus, clothed in many appealing disguises. Why was Jesus put to such a test? It was not to test him, he's divine. 
is perfect. It was to show us how to live. Temptation exists as a force, one that repels us, one that pushes us towards goodness, towards heaven. You all know my story, that I've spent my life in this abbey. I've never walked the streets of Madrid as a man. I am as pure today as the day my creator shaped. He probably has wizard powers by now. <laughs> Do I look weak? Yes. Do I look feeble? A little. No. I am strong because my virtue fuels me. My power is granted me by the divine. Think of the Virgin. How Mother Mary. How does she look? Beautiful. Perfect. All of the blessings of the feminine none of the faults. Her purity is power. Her radiance. A faultless complexion. Thank you for subscribing to Toast Ravone for two months. Uh, happy to catch me stream. Thanks. Um, just a reminder, we are not doing this for money, but any money we make will go towards buying games, equipment, and snacks. And then above that, we'll go to charity because we want this to be about having fun and not about making money. But yeah. we still appreciate and value the money that you give us because I know that you've worked hard for it. Also, thanks, Elemental Water Angels. Glad to see you. And yes, we are staying hydrated. Thank you so much. Um, what else did we miss? World of Gucci. This movie really creeps me out because it just, in my mind, every time I watch a 70s movie, I can literally see... The man who directed it being like, whoa, we don't have to wear clothes or whatever and exploring each other. Like, I'm just like, I know, I know a disgusting man is mine. Yeah. We're <laughs> All making time. a new kind of movie, you know. It might make you uncomfortable, but that's good. Yeah, it makes, that means it's art. And I'm like, you know what? I'm at an age where I'm like, just because it's art doesn't mean I like it and doesn't mean it's good. It just means that you were horny at the end. <laughs> <laughs> shows her as a weapon of God. Her innocence is strength. Are those dragged low by Satan, who feed at his trough of sin, how do they look to you? I... Hollow, huh? Diseased. Already half dragged the sepulchre. I'm gonna guess this character had sex Look, and now she feels bad about having sex. Look, she's definitely gone in all for that. See the yeah. sin God hates that. about their lips. Run! She no longer has the power of purity. That's it compelled <laughs> you towards God. The holy do well to surround themselves with a city such as Madrid. Proximity to this sin makes us more holy like Oh, she's like sick. Growing from the grave. Oh my god, this is just destroying her. God's truest thrive in such a place. Look to me as your guidepost. Never have I known sin. Not even once. Never will I know sin. Satan's pleasures are nothing to me. They pale next to the glories of God. It's not too late for you. Give yourself fully to God, and his holy fire will cleanse you, and you too will be born in there. I'd be so bored in doing just... She's crying. Oh, everyone's going to point at her? Reset. It's where the Alvira's close-ups. Oh, oh, she's not supposed to be crying. Okay. We can do Marissa's shot too and leave the setup. Interesting. Don't you hate when your actors emote? Yeah. So I kind of feel like, okay, so she's not supposed to be crying in this scene. So maybe she feels like she's been violated, like not on camera, you know, maybe by the director who already yeah. has horrendous vibes. Too real for her. Yeah. Like something about like, oh, you're no longer pure. You're like useless. You're trash if you're not pure. Not me. 
I've never been touched. Like, something about that could hurt real you know life. How, you know how, like, when you have body image issues and you're like, oh, this means I'm a bad person, like, that I've sinned against God, mm -hmm. you know? Like, yeah. Yeah. I dislike the church for this BS, honestly. Yeah. I Even I was feeling uncomfortable. Like, if some guy was just on a podium being like, I'm pure and you're trash, I'd be like, okay. Ah, you're done with the... It's too much. It's too much. It's too much. Can't do it. I'm glad you did it in the first place, and I'm oh. glad you're stopping when you want to. Church basically devalues you and makes you fear hell. Okay, someone also said, um, I want to say it's based on the devil, but it's not isn't nearly wild enough for a Ken Russell movie. I don't know enough about anything you just said, but I thought I would say it out loud for others. No more crap. I think, uh, what, Ken Russell... I think I've seen Blair the White Worm by him, and that, mm -hmm. that's some pretty interesting uh, hallucinations. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm all. Oh. Get your reputation, Ambrosio. Your soul is in the balance. My soul. Ready for my God. From Go to your <laughs> death and confess your soul will descend straight to hell. We shall now put you to the question. I've already seen this. Yeah. This will be a taste okay. of the fires waiting for you in hell. Oh, they're going to burn them? Hell's fire does not burn, but freezes. Yeah, we've seen this. That may be. But few have complained that our earthly fire is too comfortable. Will you confess? I cannot confess. Cat. I really do think torture is my forte. John. Oh, this is a different scene. Where's John? Where is John? Do you hear the heartbeat? Oh, okay, go over a different one. I think it's just... Okay. I was really curious if that was like a signal of... More of this lady. <coughs> oh, uh, how do I go all the way back? Uh, start, left trigger, left, six. 46 apple, take one. Yes, some and scenes are supposed to be the final cut. Action. There is no sin as gross as that cloaked in piety. The whole of Madrid will know of your crime. I did not. You're mistaken, perhaps your illness. I will wake the city. Antonia, come to me. Antonia? What have you done to her? She sleeps. This is no natural slumber. Antonia's honor is still intact, I swear to you. Show me mercy and speak not of this. Spare me the shame what of the discovery. What, hold on. <laughs> what the fuck did you do to her? I will repent. You'll never see me again. Antonia will be safe. I... Safe? Yes. When you are behind bars, all Madrid shall shudder at your perfidy! Flora! Flora! Silence! Silence! No! 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 God, the Father of mercies, through the death and resurrection has reconciled the world to himself and sent the Holy Spirit amongst us for the forgiveness of sin. Through the ministry of the church, may God give you pardon and peace. Solve you of your sins in 
the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Oh, you know, it's fine. He's in heaven now. Amen. At least we know she's alive because she is breathing. And cut! Are you okay? Diana? <coughs> this movie's crazy. Ugh. You, you know that feeling though, like when you just like, you're like, I have to kill this person. You yeah. Know, just push them down on the bed and then like suffocate them, you know, until they die. That's what happens when you allow yourself to get horny. You yeah. immediately start drugging women and killing them. Yeah, like you just, you can't help yourself. You know? And it wouldn't have been, this wouldn't have happened if she didn't take the little piece of lace off her face right. in church. Like, yeah, like. You Why can... did you let anyone see your face? They got so horny, they became a murderer. This yeah. is women's fault. This is the woman's fault. For sure. Look how long and luxurious her hair is. She was asking to be murdered. Mm -hmm. The devil loves long hair. That looks really good. Cool. I feel like this is the one that we saw them all get naked in. Oh, right. Is it? All right. Let's look at this guy. He's disgusting. Not because of his body, because of his These attitude. These are essentially impure. Track two, interior. Jacinta's out. <clears throat> Cut her door. Antonio watches. And the rap short. She starts when Ambrosio is finished. Stands and quickly, oh, silently like walks too. to her door. Opens it and... Uh, oh, this is different. All right, settle yeah. down. Yeah. Now we come to the sequence I call... The fuck montage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they love making montage, ladies. Mm -hmm. Sophie excluded. Uh, it is our Happy obligation Barry. here to proceed mathematically and explore all the configurations of coupling. I will sculpt you into the embodiment of the audience's fantasies. Mm. And Ambrosio will provide counterpoint with his sermon, which will add depth to our spectacle. Interior. Cathedral of the Capuchins. Ambrosio in the pulpit speaks to a large crowd. The poets speak of the pleasures of the flesh. In the same breath they talk of their souls. The sensations they speak of they misattribute. The elevating of souls they feel is inverted. The rush they feel is the rush of their descent as they plunge into Satan's realm. Interior, Abbey, Ambrosio's cell. Ambrosio kisses Matilda's breast as they roll around on his bed. Voice over, your body is a gift from God, is loaned you and must be returned when it is time to enter heaven. <laughs> That's a loner. <laughs> but what does God think of those that have sold off his gift, those that have misused it? Do not doubt the pleasures of the flesh. They are Satan's currency. Your body is only worth so much. It is possible to bankrupt yourself, to make what God gave you worthless. Interior. Cathedral of the Capuchins. Matilda watches from the side, her face mostly concealed by her habit. She smiles. Satan's trick is that these pleasures, which may at first seem equal to that offered by God in heaven over time, reveal their emptiness, regret, and guilt. But the only pleasures left for the harlot and the whore. That magic the poets speak so highly of is soon just the rutting of animals in the street. Interior, Abbey, Ambrosio's cell. Matilda is sat in Ambrosio's lap as they make love. He looks over her shoulder, so there is no eye contact. Oh, we've seen this one. Yeah. Sweat. No eye contact, babe. Just, just look over your shoulder. Voice over like a gambler I'm who I'm plays trying again to figure and out what again and again with, to win back his losses. Explaining. The sinner soon finds themselves debauching themselves further to feel as they once did. Their sins compound, their debts worsen. Like a wasp flying. Alright, I think we've seen this one. What about this guy? Yeah. Or should we go with this lady? She's in movies. We don't know who the other guy is. We'll probably see like the beginning of a clip of him doing this. Oh, yeah. If you get up over there, that's our bed. Both on your sides. So we progress things here. They still face each other, but Ambrosio's looking over her shoulder. No eye contact. No eye contact. Starting to grow tired of her. We're halfway to total dissociation. I've right, seen so this scene in the Matrix. Read Ambrosio's voiceover, so yes. we get a sense of timing. Uh, Marissa, uh, put your leg over Robert. Okay? And uh, action. Like a gambler who plays again and again to win back his losses, the sinner soon finds themselves debauching themselves further to feel as they once did. 
Their sins compound, their debts are worse. Okay, this, this isn't really working. Thank God. We need to get a look at your tits, my dear. And it's hard to get in on Ambrosio's face. Don't worry. I'm so ready. <laughs> so ready. Zelda helped set up a... Um... Can I show you? Uh, uh, go on. What? Oh, is she going to do the anime pose where you show your butt and boobs at the same time? If she arches like this, you get your teeth. Robert, hold my wrist. You can move me around like this. You see, this is why I didn't give you the Matilda role. You're so filthy, Sophia. <laughs> you cast me as a virgin, Arthur. Ah, I'm turning you into a virgin. Marissa into a whore. Those are the only two choices, Mari. You know. Some men desire to do that to women, and it's really creepy and weird. Uh, let's see. Yes. Yeah, okay. No, no, okay. For oh, ah. three. Aha! Uh -huh. That totally this didn't work. It worked! Did it work? Did it look? Oh, right, but we can still see it. Yeah, okay. we can still see the boobies. It's the pe It's them yeah. you can't see it. Alright. Okay, we're safe. All right, we've seen this. Nope. Eh. No. Okay, her. And we cut to Tilda. Devilish smile. More devilish. More devilish. Imagine you just saw Robert's dick. <laughs> <laughs> this guy has to be stopped. We have to kill him. Center 47, Riaso. A solemn walk. Jeremy Saints says we're child. shaming Go the kings. Some kings need to be shamed. You keep those at home. At night. A dream. Perhaps. She told me I would be dead in three days. You have a long life ahead of you, my child. Your grief will lessen. Maybe. I do not fear death. Walk on. Walk on. And we cut um. to Tilda. Devilish smile. More devilish. All right, someone show me some demons. I'm getting bored. Oh. Demon. This seems like a demon clip. I feel very sad about what happened to Carl Greenwood. Well, you sound very sad. And I need to go away. I don't blame John or the crew or anyone else. I really wanted this film to be good. But it didn't work out. This is the angel talking demon. Sorry, everyone. Oh, the thing's happening. Oh, Minsky. Was John's idea to create a vehicle for me, an expression of how he saw me? Oh. He wanted me to starve, but I wanted to write too. I started feeling there were better ways to create. It interested me that even though he was sleeping with me, it was still a fantasy he put on screen that he wanted. He wanted to be murdered? In that respect, it was no different than Fisher. I wanted Franny to be real, and I realized that that was only possible if we looked at her in the right way. The camera decides who has sovereignty. Okay. Sovereignty is an odd word to use there, but I think I get the sentence. Um, yeah, here the FPS is uh, higher in the angel scenes. 
Yep. Uh, Zelda pointed out uh, earlier it's to give us this uncanny valley effect. I, I assume that's what it is. It to make to set it apart. Yeah, I get the feeling like this is these. In- I don't like people who take art too seriously. Like I like taking art seriously, but when it gets to the point where you're like abusing people, no. Yeah. I love taking art seriously. I love it when people dedicate their lives to art and stuff. But it, as soon as it comes to hurting other people and hurting yourself, I think that's just an illusion to tell yourself ways to want to hurt people or want to hurt yourself. That's my opinion. Imagine how much better your stream could be if you were like so emotionally abusing two page photo. We've tried that. I was the one being emotionally abused. It was worse, actually. <laughs> <laughs> We've already been emotionally abused on stream before. We don't need to do it again. Spread. Hard Roger <laughs> never painted a female nude, and his sexualization of He's young men has led many to diagnose him as a homosexual. Size. Hair. Yeah. Oh no. It's the oh, wig. it's yeah, the worst wig. wig. That wig is <laughs> character. Um, I mean, the other wig with the terrible bangs should be the worst wig, but somehow this one's the no, worst this wig. Is, this is the worst wig. Scene 85 Bravo, take one. Action. I just have one more song for you tonight. It's a cover of a song I bet you know, but I like it better like this. Anyway, thanks for coming to my set. I'm Christina Campbell. I don't have CDs or anything, but... Um, Jeremy saying, how do you know this is a wig? I know it's a wig because I'm looking at it, and it's definitely a wig. <laughs> Girl, that's a hat, <laughs> yeah. If you like my stuff, just come back and see me again sometime. I'm always here. Oh, we got the wiggles. The two of us. It's we should have known the whole thing. The two of us. Be so much better, you and I were meant to get along, but I want to cry when we get it wrong, you and I on the edge of it all, hold me close baby when we start to fall. Great. You and me forevermore, baby. That scares me. Can't we just be you and me? Everything comes in pairs. Me and you, you and me got two of everything. Two hands, two eyes. Got two of everything, too, too much of everything. That isn't right. How does she feel? She's happy. That is usually visual. Yeah, isn't it? This, uh, this is uh, an Anthony or something. The, the music artist. Oh. This is, a, this is a real song. Oh, okay. Two of everything. So I think that song, the third movie she's in is about a, somebody with a body double that looks just like her and then that gets killed and she gets to see how people act when people see her dead. And oh.
Yeah. I was thought I was I was wondering what the meaning of it was where the angel is lip syncing to it. And then at one point, they just start crying. It got too real. Well, I wonder what the meaning is because these are angels who are like inhabiting people's bodies. But then they have to move on. I mean, like, they... they... But they left before the... the Everyone started cheering, basically. And I wonder what that means. I don't know. I, I think, to me, this is all about how, like, they really... They really want something and they continue switching bodies to search for it, but they can never escape the fact that it's always them in that body and the body doesn't actually change how things turn out for them, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Like they can't, they keep failing to achieve whatever they're trying to achieve. And that feels like, uh, like a prison, I guess. You know, like they can never, they can never fully be a human, so they can never fully make a human story. Yeah, it's like they can't make the greatest story because they're never going to be part of it or something. I don't know. Maybe the fact that they can't die is what stops them from making a perfect story. There's something missing from what they're trying to do, and it torments them. Yeah. Which is kind of what artists feel sometimes. It's too. relatable. Yeah. We've all been somewhere where it's like... I've done everything available to me and I still feel like shit, you know? I'll give credit to that actress. She just delivered that very well. Yeah. Or, I don't, actress, I don't know. But, um, I kind of felt it when they started crying after they stopped lens sinking. Like, there's just something they can't explain. Or they can't... I also feel it's like they're pantomiming in these bodies, but they'll never fully be the art because they don't they are not it I don't know how to explain it but some there, there's an element missing for them and they just can't find that fulfillment maybe they feel like they're supposed to feel a certain way and then they do the thing that they think is supposed to make them feel that way and then it doesn't and they, they don't understand why mm. yeah they want to feel human they want to feel love, or they want to feel human, or they want to they I, want to do something, and they can't do it. Well, the Angela, the we, we the just entity her Angela, we yeah. don't actually know her name. We're calling them Angela. Also, express the desire to also want to die, saying, "I want to die like you died, and then become something greater." So, I think Angela kind of wants to die in order to experience something human, if that makes sense. I think they want to die because they've tried everything else and nothing makes them feel the way they want to feel. Yeah. When they want to feel human, I think. I want to get on her face. Their face. Um, Kara Caulfield says, I mean, it's called immortality. The curse of immortality is probably the heart of this and wanting to be mortal and feel what, feel that experience is like. Yeah. True. Living like you're going to die someday. I don't feel like they're soulless. If anything, they feel too intensely, says Dorman Crafts. That's also valid. I think this is the She's Dead broadcast one. Was there a back mask? Oh, there is a back masking in here. Did you feel it? Yeah, I felt it. I wonder if it gets added in because this wasn't here before, I don't think. Yeah. Man has mastered the surface of the planet. Space. But we have mastery over time. Our perspective's different. And we sleep to maneuver. Hmm. Sometimes because we're tired. 
When we take on a form, we absorb so much of its history. If you do that too many times, it can make you crazy. Or powerful. I've argued with the other one about that distinction. So there must be just two of them. Hmm. Oh, it's not letting me rewind. Can we go? Well, when you're doing these ones, I think it's like you reverse them. Mm -hmm. Um, you could try it. It'll probably do another Marissa. I think this is taking us to Static. more direct things. One more to be yeah. Safe. You're scared. I love this shot. Forty-one apples. Take one. I haven't seen it yet. Look at the framing and everything. Oh. And the beautiful backdrop. Have you seen this before? It was just Marissa? like you like no, it. No, no, I just I love. It's it is nice. Oh, no, can I have my lead actress for the shot she's in? Still rolling. And action. Follow me. And cut. Happy, John? Ecstatic. Good. One more to be safe. You're scared. Can we check the basket she's carrying? Yeah. Because I want to I wanna see if it'll give us another scene with her carrying the same basket. Nope. No. <laughs> Somehow that makes sense. Action. Heather lets Maria into her apartment. Maria wheels a roller bag. They're both wearing the exact same clothes. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to your apartment for the next two days. Oh, your place is so cozy. This is the one where Thank she tells you. Her about the gun. How long have you lived here? The what? Remember, she's like, my dad gave me a gun. Oh, yeah. We've seen this one. Usually the lesson in immortality fables is that being mortal makes life more special. Reminds me of a show that I'm not going to tell you about. She, they say more, but I don't know. Five years. Yeah. I just want to fast forward to see if it does the bloop bloop thing. Because we've already seen this before and I want to make you guys watch it again. Yeah, that's true. Like, Here's oh, my gun. Here's my gun. I think we should go. There is a, a bloop bloop, as you call it, in the Johnny Carson theme. Not that one, but the first one. That's one of the first ones that I saw. They explain a lot of stuff. I don't actually know where it is, though. Oh, there it is. Fantastic. I would say go, right, to, the, well, we've gotta take a short go to the end and then, yeah. It did it in like a very, very commercial. commercial. Yeah, it Magic did. Uh, I guess I have to do it very special. What if you go, can you go forward when it goes to the end? I can't. So, well, you, you've been around for a while, and you look good for it. Well, oh, there the we go. There it is. I'm, and so, but uh, can you be killed? Drowning doesn't do it. Crucifixion hurts, but little else. They knock you out for a while, but it takes much more than that. Mm -hmm. Burning works. We've seen this, but I would take like note it. of that. Skip drowning, skip crucifixion, go straight to the flame. Have you ever watched anyone burn at the stake? I have not. Okay, she's, they, sorry, I, they're an angel, so no gender. But they say that in another one, too, where we get that one where it was like multiple layers. Yeah. She, they explain the same thing. Hi, Amy. Say hi to my friend, Amy. Oh, hi. Oh, it's several layers. There's like, there's like four. Tell me, any, uh, any babies? 
we don't reproduce that. Uh, there used to be more of us, but as humanity spread, our numbers dwindled. Think of us so like... Like? Like the water that falls as snow on the mountain and then runs down as fresh spring water no. and later evaporates out of the ocean back onto the mountaintop. Now that's beautiful. I think so, too. <laughs> It's now, here's like, the question. Craft your quality of time. Some of it. As much as you remember your childhood, perhaps. I remember specific moments, but it's hard to connect who you were. We all change so much. I'm not difficulty remembering one life I can't imagine. <laughs> it's all in there. It's just hard to access. I remember things I never saw. <laughs> things that belong to the people whose forms I took. Forms you took? Hmm. Well, uh, a long while back, I would uh, put my face in the water and drown. I learned not to panic, but now I can just lay down and stop breathing on my own. My body knows when to wake. Mm -hmm. And then? I again, well, I saw some bagel. confusion upon waking. Like, it's much harder now. The world you're merging, it could be so different. It's dangerous. And, uh, and you two disagree on this point. Her attraction to humanity is not one of them. Oh, uh, okay. He thinks there's a future just for us, apart from them. But he doesn't see what they have that we don't. Any idea that uh, we come from you? Well, you have something else in you, but your mortality makes you shine. Okay. You imitate us, but everything you do is base. <laughs> we tried to elevate you, but it didn't take. You died for our sins? <laughs> a story. You know, he's really sensitive about the kind of thing. <laughs> he tried to in a really productive and happy way, but he's just been like, mad at humans ever since. I think it's interesting how they say, like, oh, we're basically the cycle of water, which means that we don't go away. There's like, there's less of us now, so like, are some of them evaporated and need to go back on the mountaintop kind of thing? I don't know. Like, maybe their energies just dissipate through humanity or something. Maybe they have to want to come back. Mm. Yeah. Oh, wow. That was crazy. Oh, we should have clicked on the other one because that usually takes us to whoever they're inhabiting right now. Forgot to. Oh, well. You're right. They were wearing a big dull robe at that point. I don't remember any character wearing a robe. It reminds me, what's that movie, Begotten? Where it's like filmed really bad and it, everyone's like, it's so scary and it's like just creepy to look at and yeah. God's like ripping its tummy out or something. Yeah. There's this movie that everyone's like, it's the scariest movie. It's supposed to be like the beginning of time or something. It's like a, really just a very artsy movie where it's like you can barely see what's going on and it's just weird. It's dead. Table, I guess. Going close on her face, her lips. She's dying, but we do not know. Just the lips to us. She finishes, she stands, and leaves. Mounts to another monk as she steps outside, and back to Ambrosio. As he stands, we cut. About this cow, it, it's all here. All here. He sounds very Californian. Mm hmm Scene 14, Ria is up. He almost has like a George yes. Lucas accent. All right, settle down, Robert. Oh, he's slutty. I got my and finger on the... <laughs> action. Just in case. Oh. It is as I feared. 
there is no hope. He's stinky. By the sudden effects, I suspect that the abbot was bitten by a gente pedoro. The venom upon my lancet confirms it. He cannot live beyond three days. It must be a remedy. <laughs> Our only hope would be to extract the poison, but I know of no way to do so. We will apply herbs to the wound to relieve the pain, and he will be restored to his senses. But upon three days, the venom will have corrupted all of his blood. Ambrosio will exist no longer. Let us leave his cell so he may rest. Huh? Rosario, I trust you will maintain your virtue. I will pray at his side until heaven is compelled to come to his aid. I will pray myself, but I fear this time heaven is eager to meet its holiest servant. The artistic vision of the angel, so to speak, was and, ruined uh, by like that weird guy being horny. You know what I mean? It was ruined by the horniness. Yeah, like that one guy being like, "You're gonna be a blah, blah. you're gonna be a whore, you're gonna be a slut." Like every single time, they're trying to make something beautiful, the humans are too horny. Yeah, <laughs> like we're just gonna demean the fuck out of these women. And yeah. the meanwhile, the angel's like, "Come on." Please. Love you guys. Trying to make art. <laughs> Nine Charlie, take two. All right, settle down, Robert. All right. I wonder what happens to Robert. Eaten. I don't know. I cannot take credit for the Lord when He speaks through me. I think okay. Something interesting I noticed about the game design in this is that. Previous things that we've clicked on take us to new things. So I think that indirectly It's like pushing us towards the end. Pushing us towards the end and making sure we don't see other things too soon and stuff. So that's my opinion. But I like that. Because in her story, I think it was too exact. Yeah. You like know you could jump to the end if you knew the path. Yeah. I like that and I appreciate it, but I also appreciate that they took lessons from her story and applied it to here. But you enjoyed my discourse. Oh, yeah. I've never heard such eloquence. Well, save once. Who? You must be normal challenge. When and who was this? Yourself, Father. When you preached after the passing of our late superior. Yes, I remember. You were present. You were not yet a novice then. I was there. But perhaps I wish that God had not led me there that day. Would have avoided some suffering. Suffering. God loves Joy suffering. Is over you. God is all about yes. suffering. My heart yearns to tell, but I fear to lose you. What could be so terrible to sever my love for you? All right, who do you love? This person or the other person you drugged? What's going on? Or the murderer? Maybe they don't even know. There's a bell for vespers. We must go. Seek me out after confession. I cannot leave your mind so vexed. Do you know that monks used to get married in the Middle Ages? To who? Each other. Oh. And everyone's like, being gay is new. And I'm like, I don't know. Sounds like they've been gay. They've been gay. <laughs> three apples, take three. I think it was like normal for monks to get Actually. married under spirituality or something. But they were banging. It's useful. Perfect. All of the blessings of the feminine with none of the faults. I love you because you're like a woman, but you're not like a woman. You're not like other women. You're like a bro. Girl. You're you you like all the things that I like. Yeah. Because if you were into like makeup and stuff, bleh, bleh. And, and everything. I think there was like some. Someone said this, and I can't remember who. So this is not coming from me. It was all I'm trying to say is that men are raised to like hate everything feminine because everyone's afraid of them becoming a feminine man mm -hmm. and then they end up hating women for liking things that are feminine and then a bunch of women are like i can't like things that are feminine because then men won't like me so then everyone's just like walking around farting and liking football like yeah but like in truth 
a lot of men like a lot of feminine things because things are fun. Like, yeah, it's nice to do some things that are feminine and some things that are masculine because they're just a run through random traits and things that we did. And then we were just like, I don't know if that's for girls and that's for guys. The end. Like, why? I was at Disney World once and this little boy was like, oh, can I get a sand? Like, you know, those things where you pour different color sand oh, in? Yeah, yeah. His little sister had gotten it and he's like, oh, can I get one too? And both of his parents acted so fucking weird about it. They were like, oh, uh, uh, like really like acting so f afraid. And they're like, no, no, well, we're going to get you a sword or like, or something from, from the Viking area. And I was like, what? Gender is very important. You don't understand this now, <laughs> but that's why you can't have sand in a bottle. Yeah. Okay, just please just trust us. <laughs> they were like being so like really like he had said something terrifying. You can get it was sand in a bottle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's okay. You know, they were just worried, like this is it. I'm never gonna be able to relate to my, my kid again. They like bottle sand. <laughs> just like they were so like really anxious, like something horrible just yeah. happened. And they're like, no no no, we'll get you an axe or a weapon. First of all, Disney World doesn't sell swords or anything like that. But, like, what the fuck is wrong with you? I'm glad you love ice skating as a man, and I support you in doing it. <laughs> Call it sand transmitter. <laughs> yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, you know, like, when the when we go out recruiting, us gays, mm -hmm. we're always giving out colored sand. But only to boys, because there's no point giving it to girls. Well, what know? if you just, like, threw the colored sand at them? With that trans them? Uh, maybe. <laughs> maybe. If it, if it gave them like a sort of rainbow look. I don't know. Just something about how they reacted made me nervous. <laughs> I just like was wondering, like, it's going to be okay, Kate. You can have colored sand. You're going to be all right. Yeah. <laughs> I remember one time I saw this mom not giving her son part of that Simpsons pink donut because pink is for girls. What is wrong with you? Yeah. Men get all the colors. Women get pink. And that's just the way it is. Is, you know what's so weird is that pink used to be for boys because red was a boy color mm -hmm. and pink was light red. And now it's switched. That's so stupid. Yeah. Her purity, is power, her radiance, her faultless complexion shows her as a weapon of God. A weapon, yeah. yeah. Oh, I want to do this because that's the character looking like the Virgin Mary. The harder the task. Art. Art is one answer, it says. Okay, let's go again. We saw you breathe, Sophia. Fuck off, Arthur. You can just cut around me. Uh oh. Good from here. So at this point. Oh. Well, fine. You direct it. John, you and Robert can pick. What did you say? Sheet Lady was with Ambrosio in real life. But at this point in real life, Ambrosio is with marissa i think they're lesbians i no i think that those two are together okay and rosio and marissa are together in real and life sheet lady is mad because oh of that right okay it's gonna make it hard for her to finish the movie oh elemental water angel sand equals gay therefore beach is gay yeah yeah oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Kira Kira Caulfield says they went to the beach and became gay. Yeah, I've, I've gone to the beach many times, and I. You yeah. are from an island. Yeah, so. there. Yeah. yeah, Zelda's yeah. from an island. You it's couldn't true. stop itself. Is that why my mom didn't want to go to the beach, even though she grew up in Hawaii? She didn't want to become gay. She she didn't want to become gay. It's yeah. like it's like colored sand. You got to be really vigilant. <laughs> What the fuck was wrong with you? Were so like I was like, what the fuck is wrong with you two? It's your own mess. Why is he shocked? John, you and Robert can fix your own mess. I see. Why is she looking devious and this guy like? Oh, what? He's a himbo. He doesn't understand what's happening. You have sermonized that Satan may sometimes take a pleasing form. I love this. <laughs> oh, she loves it. I have had my eye on you for a while. This model of piety. The mortal who placed his puny virtues on a level with those of angels. Now you are mine. Eternally. 
Listen whilst I unveil the true depths of your crimes. You have shed the blood of two innocents. Antonia, that pure girl whom you violated, she was your sister. What? That Elvira whom you murdered, she gave you birth. Uh, really? Tremble, hypocrite. Inhuman parasite, incestuous ravisher. You claim to be above temptation, absolved of all mortal vices. Is not pride a sin? Oh, got you. To be perfectly honest, if I was an immortal angel and saw some dude just be like, I'm better than everyone, I'm super pure, and an angel, I'd be yeah. like, let's get the fuck his sister. <laughs> That's I don't even do that. That's the basis for so many Greek myths, too. There's <laughs> yeah. someone being like, I'm better than two. You hear that? And the dude's is like, you fucked your sister. <laughs> <laughs> or like the origin of the spider, where she's like, I make the best blankets. I make the best blankets possible. They're so good. And then Athena comes down and she's like, here's a cool blanket. It's way better than yours. <laughs> You're a spider. <laughs> <laughs> I'm immortal. I've got 70 odd years to mess with this person. Yeah, yeah. You know, you think a person can be petty. Just imagine an immortal angel being petty. <laughs> Your inhumanity. Know that I have long marked you for my prey. I saw that your virtues came from vanity, not principle. I observed your idolatry of the Madonna's picture and you performed to seduce you. Your path to crime was laid out by me and you walked it so easily. <laughs> Scarcely could I propose crime so quick as you performed them. You raped your own sister and murdered your mother. Unholy man. But it is sweeter still. <laughs> your surrender was unnecessary. Those guards at your door, they were sent to free you. A last-minute pardon issued by the Inquisition to safeguard the sanctity of the cloth. You would have walked free. Oh, you have to contract. <laughs> you promised to save me. I promised to take you from the dungeon, save you from the Inquisition. That I did. I fulfilled my part of the bargain. Now your eternal soul is mine. I claim my prize. And cut! Arthur, that's hard in the dress. I hate the dress. It's not shocking. Can I try something? He's gonna be naked. Yeah. Satan is naked. Double the yeah, I knew it. I knew it. This fucking guy's gonna be like, she's that's, gotta be naked. That's yeah. Younger. That's the DP. Uh, it's that fucking disgusting it's guy. The, yeah, it's the guy. Yeah. The guy's as soon as I saw him slouching, I'm like, yeah, I'm wearing tidy whities at night, and I need to have sex with everybody. Oh. I'm like, ew. No, no, a new woman is not scary. Kick up the wind machine, have her hair whip around like she's right, ready, and... Ah! Aha! You guys aren't seeing any nakedness today! She's naked, the wind is blowing, she looks amazing. Um, she looks like she runs a lot because her butt muscles are really strong. Yeah, she's right. got nice abs. Yeah, she's a very strong lady. Seems like she's really in shape. Do you want oh, more now? boobs. What? What just happened to the scene? <laughs> Alright, we can undo it, and then when the boob comes yeah, out. I'll, I'll be waiting for the boob. Yeah. Team 59 Alpha takes six. Okay, so she's cold. Fuck. That is a horrible dress to be running in. Oh, I don't envy her. Maria? Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so happy to see you. You have no idea. What's going on? Oh, this is the other one. Isabella. Something just happened to me in my room. Just in case you're both, uh, anyone is behind, the other demon angel person is in that person right now. Yeah, so the, the lady, the woman on the right side, that's the, the male looking angel. The one on the left is the lady looking angel. And the lady looking angel inhabits this body for a super long time, and the other one inhabits lots of different bodies. Yeah, they're just jumping around. Yeah. 
In your room? Yes. Please don't be upset. I have to tell you what happened. Slow down, darling. Is what happened? Andrew, he made a pass at me. More than a pass. He he forced himself on me. Oh shit. Well, I think everyone had a little too much to wow. drink. Wow, wow, maybe you should just no. chill. No, it was more than You're that. right, you're it so right. This woman's a pick me. He he gave me no choice. He attacked me. I had to run away. This is serious. It is. It's really serious. You don't understand, do you? Understand what? Andrew's a powerful man. And you've hurt his feelings. That's why I came to talk to you. He assaulted me. Maria, you're a big girl. You of all people should know the score. Yeah, they the set score. you up. I came here on a professional contract and I deserve to be treated like a professional. Okay, so earlier we saw a scene where this character was saying, I don't want to go hang out with this person for a million dollars. For ten million For ten million dollars. Yeah. And she was like, hey, bullshit, bullshit, you guys are full of shit. Um... Did I press something wrong? No, it's not. No, it's good. Um, and her agent's like, yeah, I do make 10%. She's, and then we were both like, don't hang out with anybody for $10 yeah. million. Dollars. <laughs> They're going to poop on you. They're going to poop on you. <laughs> yeah. Or worse. Poop on you or worse. What part of that is unclear to you? Oh. No, I got it. I got it. Okay. Got do it. you understand now? You are a big girl. You're falling out of your dress. You don't know who you're fucking with. I'm Maria. Wait till the world hears about this. I'm gonna sue you. I'm gonna have Andrew put away. I have money. I have power. You have power. Money. You're not in our league, sweetheart. Andrew could rent out Yankee Stadium tonight and pay every single member of the NYPD to come out and watch him rape you on home plate. That's, that's a bit much, lady. You're nothing. Everybody knows who I am. The public does. But the people that matter know Andrew. He's the most connected man in the city. He belongs to a different world. And you just threatened him. Do you understand what that means, dear? I'm Maria. He's going to be on the front page of every single fucking newspaper in America tomorrow morning. This is what I kind of think happened to Britney Spears, but like her family did it to her. They just like... The woman on the left is saying like, how do I explain this to her so I don't have to murder her right now? Yeah. Ugh. People are horrible. I'm going to destroy you. You could have walked away from this. I am walking away. I think this is so... about Britney. So she has blonde hair, and she's like, I'm Maria. Do it. Do what? What, what are you doing? What are you doing? Ah! 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 Cut. Let's go again. I can do it better. Wait, what was that? The flash in her eyes. Yeah. Oh. That's, yeah. That's weird. <laughs> yep. So that shows that the other one's inside of her, but um. <clears throat> For this movie, it takes place in the early 2000s. It's about a blonde superstar who gets a body double. And I think right now the body double is being Maria. Yeah. And then the body double gets killed. And then the original Maria has to find out what happened and see what's going on and stuff. Yeah, and then but, everyone's like, oh, fucking Maria's dead. Fuck that lady. Yeah. So I guess the, Maria gets to see how horrible the world really is. Yeah. Late. You need to sleep. I'll sleep when I'm dead. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, there's a thingy. It's still vibrating. You know, maybe this is going to be the other one being like, oh, why did why did Angela have to Thank kill herself over this? He was mending bridges. No. Oh. Hold on. Arthur Fisher was dying, and he was mending bridges. He came to me, and he brought me a gift. The uh, Ambrosia negatives he'd stolen. After he left, I watched them. I felt the pain in my heart. I felt the grief at who I'd been back then. 
I realized I missed Marissa and spontaneously brought her back. So that's why Marissa disappeared, because she's been gone for a long time. She <laughs> disappeared in the 60s. Mm -hmm. And this person has just been her... Using her form. Yeah. And she was like, oh, you know what form I really loved? Marissa. And that's why Marissa... Right, because I think they don't inhabit their body. I think they kill them and then... And then they... Make themselves look like them. Yeah. Because... I remember this one was like, oh, yeah, I thought this guy was creative, but he wasn't. So I ripped out his throat anyway. And then the demon guy starts being him. Yeah. Maria exits onto the street. We think it didn't work. Then she gets a call, or a limo, or something. Then, the limo pulls up. Okay, let's break here. Scene 75 through 80, yeah, this rehearsal. Is the dance one, but not the other dance okay. one. Okay, we've seen Maria right. skip the line and get admitted to the club. We cut inside and see Andrew and Isabella in the VIP booth with an entourage. Isabella whispers something to Andrew, and they both laugh as a waitress arrives with a round of drinks. She totally raped that lady. Matthew paid her $10 million, she could do that. Yep. You see Maria. We see Maria. She's checked her coat. We truly see her now. She looks like a goddess. And she dances. Oh, we got a vibration here going on. Is this how you dance at the club? Okay. Yeah, you know, it's like a ball. I, you know what? I'm kind of like an agoraphobe, so me, I don't. This could be true. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. The next time I go to a social event, I'm just gonna start doing this. This is artistic dancing. Yeah. You can see the nakedness. Oh, this is really pretty. Do you think this is a reference to this person probably maybe being a ballet dancer 200 years ago or something? I don't know. I don't know. I want to dress like that now. I know. Do you want to fly, fly around too? This kind of reminds me of how witches are depicted sometimes. Yeah. The, um... The other one looks like they're wearing a dress like this, mm -hmm. and that one where they're like, oh. Yeah. This is how I dance to walk. <laughs> <laughs> the actress in this is pretty radical. She does a great job. Yeah. I like. I could, I completely take it. I'm like, yeah, that's a that's an immortal wing. That's how I felt when I played Control. Like, mm. I love the way they got for that. Mm. I like the in Control the way they explain how a cosmic entity would try to speak to you, where yeah. it's like it's trying to say something, but it's like two different things, and it's also yeah. like, what if a what if you're trying to talk to your own immune system? How would you try to say something? Yeah. Scene 13, Charlie, take four. <clears throat> the actress's name is Charlotte, Char Charlotta? Charlotta Mole. Mole? So, yeah. Uh, Action. So what did you say? Paul, well, I told him that if he called me a beautiful angel one more time, I'd fucking fire him. <laughs> Poor guy. Oh, he's fine. Threats are Gary's love language. You didn't get in trouble? 
It's not my boss. And I work a hell of a lot harder than he does. Oh, speaking of working hard, I heard that you killed it at the MBAs. Everyone keeps telling me how good I was. Hey, Ooh, we got a wiggle. So what did you say? Yeah, it's easier to whisper. I made some movies. With each one, I tried to make it perfect. I thought about them intensely. People liked them. Some thought them cold. I missed the other one, and I wanted to make work that would have pleased him. This medium, the transmission of the message was far greater and far more precise. I wanted to make the case for humanity, and uh, I allowed myself to think I was part of it. Hmm. I think if we keep following her fa their face, yeah, we'll find more things. Where's Frank? You've been assigned someone new. You. Scene forty-one. Charlie, take one. Action. Oh, the lead in the movie scenes is Man and Gage. I, I'm bad at it. Went to Juilliard. Wow. Manon. Manon? That's Whatever a really cool name. Of course. Where's Frank? You've been assigned someone new. Union rules in New York. We gave Frank the night off. Oh. Okay. Keep rolling. I want to go straight into another one. We've all been there. They're ready for you now. Of course. Where's Frank? You've been assigned someone new. Union rules in New York. We gave Frank the night off. Okay. Give me a minute. <laughs> the red bagel loves her wig. <laughs> That's okay, Bagel. We respect you. Part of being human was Amy. It was not my intention to take a muse as a lover, but I found myself repeating that pattern. Amy asked very little of me, apart from my brilliance. Through her, I wanted to engage with the pressures that shape our art. Amy only felt alive when she was playing a part. I wanted to help her surpass herself. But each movie we made was less good. The other one had always said that the human stories always have to crime. And I started to feel that every time I looked at Amy. Take advantage of you being frozen in place to no, steal a kiss. No, don't take advantage of people to kiss them. I have heard great things about you. I can see they're all correct. I think this is the original guy they got to play Minsky you know, before they got rid of him and then had John Derrick. Mm. We've seen this it's one. Very I think. Short I rude. Seen this. He did do me a sketch on a napkin. I'm just waiting for him to die, so it'll be worth something. You don't care for it. Oh, no, 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 no. I am not a fan of cubism. It just seems inherently wrong to take a beautiful woman and turn her into a bunch of triangles. <laughs> Everyone's just like, oh. that from your He said that, but me. he hasn't seen video games, so yeah, true. he doesn't know yet. He doesn't know that you can actually make women even more oh, realistically yeah. perfect. I've seen the hottest triangles. <laughs> <laughs> There's billions of them, actually. Per nipple and everything. You know, John, I was thinking, I'd like to make a per nipple. Yeah. Yeah. Named after him. I feel like we should make Minsky a little more sympathetic.
Tomb Raider might be cubism. I've never thought of that word, perhaps, but I think you might be right. What? Is Tomb Raider cubism? This is a true. I have no idea how to even I'll interpret never... what that means. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, yeah, actually, I get what you're saying because it's Just made out of polygons and boobs. Got it. Understood. You'll have to cut that out. So, is that a twist? She sounds like, like frustrated that everyone's acting like idiots. Speak of the devil. Artist himself has you're arrived. Immortal, you gotta have a lot of patience. See you, John. What? If you're immortal, you have to have a lot of patience. I <laughs> know, we're just like, ugh. Let me get um, John's face. Him? Let me get another one of him. This? Yeah. Or, or that guy. Oh, sorry. Either one. Thank God he dies. Someone here already knows you're dead. They just like look at each other and they're like, no. No, I don't really understand how people communicate like that. Oh, that's a uh, Olga, the one that. There's the snake earring. Yeah. Hold on. Is that an eye or a vagina? Uh, it has an eyebrow, so. It's got two. I, it's one of them. It's got eyelashes eye. on either side, but it's an eyebrow on top. That's it feels eye. vaginal. I'm a oh, yeah. Minsky feels like a film. I keep thinking they're saying Mitsky, if that makes you feel any better. I always think of, uh, they say Minsky, I think of Marvin Minsky. Who's the that? AI. Oh. Guy. <laughs> I love that 70s zoom in. Can we do the snake on her ear? Yeah. It'll probably just take us back to when he puts it in like the envelope or whatever it is. But... I keep thinking he puts it in a drink, but yeah, I get what you're saying. Or maybe he does put it in a drink. I don't know why, but yeah. Are you a buyer? Okay, I think in this one, this person is taken over by the other one. And the other one previously said the snake was my idea, which implies that these two were part of a whole bunch of biblical stories from Adam and Eve to Jesus and all those things. Oh, yeah. He's got a thing for brown haired ladies. Done this before, but maybe we should follow more snakes. Cut. Don't slate. A delta, take two. I think the snake loves you. Action. Every religion is just these two fucking around. <laughs> Right. It is a cup. No, you're right. Wait, no, hold on. See? Yeah. It's like a little cup. Why is he storing it in a cup? Oh, it's an evidence cup, I guess. <laughs> Let's click on that again, though, because see where it takes us. Hmm. Hello, how are you? Hello, Vortex Thoughts. We're doing great. This is Zelda. Hi. Zelda likes to wear crabs on her head and yep. program yep. in Rust. Those lates. Okay, we've done this one. Yeah. Let's just follow the chain of snakes. Chain of snake. <laughs> you would make a great Eve. I was there, you know, and I just know you would have been great. New snake. Got this is when they throw her in, I guess. Or this is her, it's gonna be her dad or something. Scene eight, Foxtrot, take two. Action.
Huh? What is the thing under it? I think it's just oh, part of the flaps. Yeah, I think it's just flaps. <laughs> Look what Tomer Christmas perfectly surmised of the scene. Thank you, and emojis. Yeah. Okay, well, this is getting us nowhere. Um, PP cut off. Apple. Figurement. I. We've done this one, but maybe bloody cloth. Oh, here we go. Oof. Oh, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty scary. And cut. They're wearing contacts. Could I kiss mm -hmm. his face? Would you see that? What? Good night, elemental. Sixty-three water apple. Take one. And action. Larissa. Life still exists in this miserable frame, but you are too broken to move. Soon the sun will rise to burn you. Myriads of insects will come forth and drink the blood which trickles from your wounds. You will be unable to drive them away, but you will feel their bites and scratches. They will fasten upon your sores and dart their stings into your body. It will be exquisite. The eagles of the rock will then descend to tear your flesh piecemeal. They will dig out your eyeballs with their crooked beaks. Even in this pain, you will thirst. For six days, you will lay here in agony. On the seventh, a storm will come. The waters will burst the riverbanks and flood this plain. You will drown. And your bloated corpse will be carried downstream as your soul is delivered to me. <sighs> And cut. Could I kiss his face? Would you see that? Cut. You know, Feels like that one painting, uh, vagina or eye. We'll know if we ever click on yeah. it. Yeah, that brings us there. Well, they might take us to a vagina. We don't know. It's true. It's true. I kind of want to go back and click on it. Scene 60, Foxtrot, take five. Marsh. Put me through. Fuck. Oh, we're getting a wiggly. Cut. Kale Slate. Real boy. I wanted two of everything to eat. Damn it. I wanted two of everything to be about everything, but as simple as possible. <laughs> it was my story. At the beginning, I felt we could do it, but as it went on, I realized it wasn't going to work. I feel like they're making this faster to make it eerie. The other one was there, but like never before. I mean, we pushed, but I was trying to do too much, to be too much. This is 
have been my first movie. <laughs> what a first movie. I feel like I just went through four years of film school and acting school and just life in a few months. So is this the angel saying that, do you think? Or is I don't this know. Marissa? I'm not entirely sure. I was also thinking that it was like before or after. What a team. Arthur, you were harsh but fair. For everything you put me through, I learned a lot. And your karma is having to spend the next six months staring at footage of me while I sleep it off. I hope you see something you like in there. Everyone, a big round of applause to our star, our gorgeous, la bellissima Marissa Marcel. <laughs> I love you all, and I'm here only to say that I pay for the bar for the next hour. It is rare that I'm this generous. So please, have a drink and toast to our new friends, to movies. To, to movies! <laughs> Cheers. Well, who do you want to click on? Creepy guy? He says you want to... Uh, yeah, maybe. She's looking at him. He's looking at... I wanna... What is the guy on the right actually guy? Like, we've seen like a lot of other people get killed. Does he get killed? In real life or in the movie? In real life. I don't know. Should we go again? Ew. Sex is bad. Too much, you'll get us arrested. Are we cutting? Yes. 32 apple, take two. Okay, say it again. And action. God the Father of mercies, death and resurrection of the Son, the reconciled the world to himself, the Holy Spirit among us. This is just awkward. I haven't seen this. Yeah. Stop your mewling, child. We are taking you into the depths of the earth. Surrounded by the corpses of our order, there shall you rot. Don't cry. We're Let's putting you on the ground with the corpses. Stop crying. We're only going to bury you alive, <laughs> surrounded by horrifying, decaying things. <laughs> Why are you such a baby? Just deal with it. I told you about your fate like hours ago. <laughs> I have prayed and prayed. No soul has been as penitent as I. I beg you to show mercy. If not for me, then for my unborn. Please. The contrition seems genuine. Genuine? Have more guile, sister. This girl disgraced her. Disgraced our order. In front of Madrid's idol. Sorry. In front of Madrid's idol. <laughs> The very man I hoped to impress with the strictness of my discipline. To sin before Ambrosio. Ugh. It's to sin before God. She stands, Ambrosio. We follow the rules to the letter. In with her. No, no, please. Wow, Ambrosio, you really are just causing all kinds of fucking problems. Dwarven Craft says that the, they miss this painted backdrop. I love this too because this part always makes me think of old FMV games because oh. they were all like this, you know. Or the shitty backdrop. Yeah, like in like Phantasmagoria <laughs> and stuff like that. Who is this Agnes? How do you know her? You fucked her too. I discovered how to love her out of wedlock. <gasps> She begged me to conceal her crime, but I exposed her to the prioress. It was some righteousness. Kick out of the order, but don't like Now seeing that my behavior was too severe, I must request an audience with the Domino and ask her to mitigate her punishment towards this poor girl. It's no. too late, dude. They're doing it right now. <laughs> if you have, yeah, if you want to change it, go now. 
and uh, say, don't do this. No, well, first he has to go to the council, and then they have to talk about it, and then they have to think about it, and then if she's dead by the time they take her out of the crypt, ah, uh, God's, God's, God's will. will. God's will. Such a sudden change of heart may create suspicion. Oh. It will be better for you to continue as you have done. Show an outward severity for the sins of others to better conceal your own. Leave this she, nun she, to her fate. You should probably be a hypocrite. Let her die. She's failed to conceal her actions and is not worthy of love's pleasure. That sounds right. That sounds like what we they should return. do. Wait. Why is the music playing while the thing's happening? Do they kill her or just lock her up in a tomb? Yeah. Uh, uh, now I must act. The key. New key. I will descend alone. Ignore the dog right barking. If anyone approaches, warn me with your voice, but dare not follow. It they would cost can't you your life. Because of the noise that you did. Mm, no, they could. I saw it. All right. Mm -hmm. Did you all hear a dog? And cut. Print it. That was messed up. Let's do an angel. How about that? That seems like a good idea. Okay. Statue. I wonder if that's how they see themselves. Like, maybe that they're just pointy silver objects. Uh -huh. That would actually be really awesome if that was the case. Yeah, a, like... Have you ever seen the game? Um, the one with the synth spears. They didn't Burrow. hear a dog, so I'm the fool. Okay. Have you ever seen the game Burrow? No. We'll, I'll make you play Baroque. We'll we'll do that sometime because uh, you'll you'll probably like it. Okay. Oh, by the way, Zelda wants us to play Morrowind, but the oh, most yeah. authentic way possible. Yeah, real, real Italian Morrowind. Where we do it like this. You know, yes. And Zelda's gonna bring her synthesizer. Yeah, I'm gonna bring some synthesizers. I'll bring a drum machine. We'll hook it up so that I can like play a little soundtrack. I'm actually really really into that idea. Yeah. I have no clue Feel a different how we're detective. It, did you lose your Whenever virginity? Whenever you feel like it, you have until you no, die. I, I gotta figure out how to do like the inputs and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Well, we have until you die to figure that out. So as long as you're doing this and having fun while doing it, that's the only mm -hmm. thing that's important. And I probably won't die soon. I don't think you are gonna die soon. Everyone who's like, I'm gonna die by the time I'm blind. Now you're gonna die when you're 87, and you're gonna be like, Why did I keep saying that to myself? I should have taken care of better care of myself. That's always how it goes. I should have exercised. I know, exactly. No, I'm never gonna do it. I will never exercise. You exercise all the time. No. Nope. Uh -uh. No, untrue. I know for a fact that you rode your bike next to the lake. I have done that before, it's true. It's Zelda mistake. takes care of herself. It was just one time. <laughs> Thinks that Minsky's ex is in town. Hi, Punished Crow. And here's me thinking this is a social call. They just look cool. <laughs> if, I were, if I was queer, you'd think I was a hero for that. Yeah, totally, <laughs> totally. But you're not queer. Okay, I'm going to be happy when Douglas comes back and we can all pick on him for being a dinosaur. <laughs> but you're not queer, are you? <laughs> Let's go to the beginning. You saw that? What's your real name? That is my real name. Carl Greenwood Jr. My father was Carl Greenwood Sr. That makes sense. Sounds like a movie name. Didn't mean until I became a movie star. <laughs> Before you said there can be too much freedom. Really? What kind of freedom? Uh, sexual freedom. Don't worry about it, Crow. Freedom. You can just call me the other one. You know, yeah. it's like in the game. There's like Angela and the other one. We got Mari and the other one. <laughs> Financial freedom. I feel like society needs some limits. Fools. <laughs> I don't mean to be provocative, dear, but I wonder if it's seeing other people Ooh. have freedom that worries you. Is this? Uh, uh, how many women have you betted? Like a hundred. Damn. We tried to elevate humanity by telling. What were you gonna say? Oh no, I was just making fun of Carl Greenwood because he's just like so, so not gay. He's guys. not gay at all. He's not gay at all. Like, 
That would just be crazy. Yeah, that'd be weird. In the greatest story. How much of it do I remember? Actually remember how much has been eroded by the retelling? I remember the pain. Well, the performance of it. If what you fear the most is death and pain, we wanted to create the purest image of that. The other one was there. Later they made two Marys, but there was really only one. I remember the time in the cave. I was dead, but that passed. The ascension was left to their imagination. I never knew that, by the way. What? I always thought that, like, they, like, opened it up, and then he was in there, and then he ascended. But they, apparently they just opened the cave, and then there's no one in the cave, and they're just like, clearly he went to heaven. Like, how do you make that? That's just jumping to conclusion. I think... I thought that he left the cave. Like, Mary was like, yo, I gotta go see this cave. And he's like, hey, I'm, I'm alive. Should we... What? I thought that's how it went. I don't know. I don't know. Not nine million vaginas, yes. Vaginas. Janus. No sand for Carl. I didn't go anywhere. What? She's like, oh, they thought I went to heaven. I'm still here. <laughs> here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Cut. A kick on the wiggle. Yeah, so you see, like, the same scenes will unlock new ones after a while. It's a lot of my learn. I'm excited to meet Douglas Simons. Seeing him in a loincloth fighting gladiators. Ooh, it's a big artistic influence on me growing up. And I'm different. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Do you know any artists that aren't disgusting? <laughs> that was the thing to say. Yeah, so rude. But true. Artists are disgusting. Yeah. Stay away. Oh, this person. The other one. Cut. Scene 37, There's Delta flowers. Take 1. Orchids. Orchid. Look at those orchids. Do you know that, like, 200 years ago, uh, people from England would just slaughter people in the in uh, rainforest so they can get orchids. I mean, they're really pretty though. You know, think about it. Slaughter, nice flowers. There's so many things that people just fucking murdered other people for. And it's like orchids, like, just so they could just grab tons of orchids from the rainforest. Just, yeah. what, what? That sounds awful. Spices. God, like, what? I think you just want to kill people. I think that they just were like, oh, we had to get the orchids. I don't know. Action. Orchids are air plants. That's why they're hard to grow. People grow them like they're potted plants, but they're not. You're supposed to tie them to a tree in a hot, humid area. And when we try to grow them in our cold, dry homes, they're just like, they're not supposed to be here. Hold on, I want to get that painting. Oh. Scene 37, Delta take one. From Smith and Baker. This must have been before the possession. Hey, I want something new. A new royal heather. Ivory herb. A beautiful soap. It's out of a dream. A new natural. 
natural soap. Creamy lather, herbal goodness for skin that never grows old. Royal the new ivory herb. Royal the new ivory herb from Smith and Baker. What? I okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice roll Hey, Carl, you get up out of bed. She's sleeping. You look at her. At this point, you fuck Marissa a lot. She just told you she's the killer, so this room will be fairly somber. Damn, she's so hot, so, like, what do I do? That'd be a bad Yeah. I mean, if you, if you, like, tell people she's a murderer, you probably can't bone her. Marissa, open your eyes and smile. Okay, so Marissa just told you she's the murderer, but you fucked a lot. So he's like, I'm gonna go take a shower. What? She's gonna kill you, bro! <laughs> maybe, maybe not. We don't get to see Carl showering. We just have to imagine. Okay, back to sleep. Alright, Governor walks back in. That's a movement I want to steal. <laughs> And kisses sleeping friend. Why are you kissing her? She just told you she kills people. <laughs> uh, I don't think this place is nice enough. Yeah, this is not good. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> she just found out she kills people. You go take a shower and then give her a kiss. Like, no big deal. What? Scouting for Goodman's apartment. This is the bedroom. Right. So we're we'll starting with that. He really doesn't want to perform sex well, with Well, to her. be honest, I heard Mr. Dirk here's hot shit, and Douglas Simons has signed up. I see there's something happening here, but mostly I said yes. You were a part of this. I think you're going to be a huge deal, Miss Marcel. Do you know how to kiss Mr. Greenwood? Uh, yeah, I believe I do. So in the practices, she has her natural hair, which means that she's canonically wearing a bit a wig for the movie. You know, maybe when she comes back for the third movie, that's just the angel like forgetting what her hair was like. <laughs> Ew, stop. Stop. I don't like it. Yeah, go back to where you didn't make eye contact. Stop kissing. I don't like it. Every single time that guy's just like, I don't know what to do. I don't know. I don't like kissing girls. Yeah, he's gay. Let's see. Oh, there's a camera over here. Rehearsal on scene six. Where hey, it's that person, I think, but in a different wig. The one that's evil in the future. I think so, or maybe I'm just not seeing it right. Goodman? You want Franny down by the checkout, and you like the guard down because most people like you. He does not like this. Detective Goodman. Holly, honey. Franny said you'd be coming. Would you be happy to answer a few questions? <gasps> honey doesn't like cops. And none of us like cops. Cops think we're deviants. They like to beat up on deviants. True. Well, I'm not most cops. I fucked a cop once. Okay. He stuck his stick in my ass. Okay. <laughs> so, you approve of deviance? Uh, I like art. <gasps> you like art. 
you knew about artists? They're the worst. Are you wearing a wire? Uh, no, no, I don't need a wire. I have a, I have a notepad. <laughs> oh, write it down. <laughs> what? <laughs> we hate cops. <laughs> okay, um, so Franny was here Wednesday night? Oh, yes, we had ourselves a big party. Oh, the whole night? Uh, what time did she leave? She stayed here. On this very sofa, bare ass naked. <laughs> uh, did you take any photographs of the party? <gasps> you like taking photographs, <laughs> Mr. Detective? Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, so uh, photographs. <laughs> What is it you're looking for? Oh, thank goodness, the most uncomfortable. Oh, I, I feel pretty uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I want to do that woman's face to see if it's the same one. <laughs> you like gays? I like art. Just turn around. I wonder if you could do her belly button. Hmm. No, that was the last one. Where you played the devil. Where I played the devil. Oh, <laughs> now that is a hell I can get behind. It'd be interesting if they killed that person and took their form, took her form, right? <laughs> the eyes are brown. I think you're all tall. wonderful. Okay, you're right. I mean, Jonathan, I thought that was familiar. I don't know what the limits are, though. Like, what can I say? No, I think you're probably right. Oh, no, it's her. Remember, we saw the other one wearing that little casket? That's the other one. Nope. They won't let us. So, you appreciate the freedom to fuck 200 women, but would you be happy for those women to go and fuck 200 people? You're fine if I fucked every person in this room? What happened? You only live once. Natasha. <laughs> Wait, you're, okay, you're okay with this guy? <laughs> Why me? Am I the boss, Marissa? <laughs> you are. <laughs> You're a conservative slut, Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> if, I, if I was queer, you'd think I was a hero for that. <laughs> <laughs> right? Do I get the green? I'm gonna call someone a conservative slut. That's a really great. Oh. Oh, okay. All right. Ready, Lee? Zelda's ready to press the blur I'm, button I'm in any second. Yeah, I'm, on the, I'm on the porn blur. Scene 24A, take one. We need some gummy bears. Oh. Action. I knew it. slow. Okay. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> they need to stop doing this, dude. <laughs> oh, it's really, it's really not doing it. She just doesn't want him. It's just, it's just for like... 
No, oh, I had to do it fast. Okay. Oh. Are they enjoying this or are they just. You want it to look real? It's a movie. It's fake. No! Okay. You got a distressed viewer. <laughs> no. What? No, wait, hold on. Why not? You know what? Maybe Carl Greenwood wasn't gay, but then Do you think your they audience just made will him gay after your killing him yourself? because they're like, fuck it. It's yeah, let's make him gay. gay. You're gay now. I just hope they don't assume I did it out of arrogance. John Houston played no one in his own movie. That's but he's done that before. And that was Dolores Ortiz's movie and he's John Houston. I <laughs> will assume I'm sleeping with you. Because you're a terrible man. <laughs> ah, look who it is. My handsome co-star. Long time, no see. Paul? What happened? I'm really excited about this movie we're making together. John. Marissa. No. There's there's beard Carl and then post beard Carl. Hmm. Go on. Yeah. Hey. Punish Pro says he's got gay face. It's like, yeah, he has gay face now. You can tell. Why? What? what Just look he... at his face. Just look how groomed he is, you know? He's too beautiful. He must be gay. Yeah. You only live one. Ah, I'm done with this scene. I got Pete. You're in charge. All right. All right. Good luck. Look at Every time Mario leaves the room, I just feel the like full weight of responsibility. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm sure she'll really appreciate the uh, encouragement, punished pro. You know, I could be at the helm. I could totally play. I don't have to not play. Hi. Hi, Deathpool98. Um, let's see. Damage to banning indoor smoking is done to film the game. I mean, what do y'all want to see? I've been clicking on a lot of objects. We've been looking. Um, this pool is called Immortality. Or this is called Immortality. It's, um... It's like an interactive movie watching game it takes place across three different movies that were never released. And we want to figure out why this lady um, disappeared. <laughs> this is all the images that we've seen. Mm -hmm. Well, put your headphones on. Yeah. I just had the weirdest body dysmorphia thing in the mirror where like my face moved and I was like, Aah! hate it when that happens. I don't know. Do you ever get that where your face like morphs or no. is that just a me thing? Oh, it's just a me thing. Anyone else have body dysmorphia and your face like changes when you're looking at it or is that you okay? But your face just like body horror moves in the mirror. Not on drugs, completely sober though. Q O E, yeah. It happens to me when I look at myself in the mirror in the dark. Oh, yeah. We can play, yo, you play it on Steam. It's on Steam and it might, it's probably on consoles. I don't know, it's called Immortality. Oh, thank you for subscribing for 82 months. Thank you, Solar Seeker. Whoa, it's been an age since my sleep schedule. Let me catch one of your streams, yay. Well, I also haven't been streaming for like two years. <laughs> but I'm glad you didn't notice. <laughs> Oh, 
sometimes after looking again, after getting over a bad period of dysphoria, but never in real time. So what I've done is I've um, decided that what I see in the mirror literally doesn't matter and it's irrelevant to my interest because I want to live life. And whatever, I can look at the same exact picture and see someone completely different. So I've decided it's just literally not important because I watch lots of people be crippled by their um, whatever. And I'm just like, I'm just gonna be ugly. Like, I wish it was okay to be ugly, you know? I wish it was like, like, first of all, Val just say everyone's beautiful, but I just wish it was okay to be ugly, you know? I don't know how else to explain it. I wish it was valid to be ugly. I don't know. Are you playing BG3 tomorrow or Tuesday? I'm replaying as a warlock right now and I wish I had all the part had the all party mod. I'm probably gonna play tomorrow. I've been really into streaming lately, it makes me really happy, so I think I'm gonna try and do that on a regular basis. But I do have therapy tomorrow, so it might make me really unhappy. Oh. It's just talking about re and meet with uh, Chris. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go to Sensu Gatsu. We are? Yeah. Just well, you and Chris? Me and Chris probably auto. We're gonna have like a meet off. I can't go. I like me. No, Girl. it's just gonna be the boys. Oh, you know? okay. I get to do it either. And okay. I'm, I'm hanging out with like you and Ashley, and it's just us girls. But if we're going to stand some caps on, it's gonna be me and I don't Chris. I guess I have to respect that, but I do wish I was included in the meet. Maybe I think you should do that. I think that's a great idea. You do Chris and Otto. I hope you do it for real. Or is it? Oh no, I'm gonna do it. Okay. okay, yeah, I like that. This is like the best place ever if you like grilling and eating way too much meat. You know that I love yeah. grilling meat! <laughs> I hate being excluded! We'll do, we'll do what I know, I know. I'll, then I'll make Chris take me after. We'll do shabu shabu or something sometimes. Okay. <laughs> but no, that's good because boy time is important. I want him to feel special. I know. I respect her. You know that I, I get jealous when anyone does anything without me. Yeah. It's not rational and it's not realistic, so I just accept that I feel that way. I'm also really glad that you initiated social contact with my fiance. That makes me really happy. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to, trying to, you know, be good friends with him. I want him to feel uh, not as nervous and Want to show him a good time, you know? Yeah, he deserves to be happy and to connect with other human beings. Yeah. His his work friend might be moving, so he's very upset about that. So that's really nice. Now the whole world knows! <laughs> Let's see. Okay. So who are we not seeing? And what are we not seeing in all these pictures? Yeah. Maybe the wig. Um, Better when she turns around. Maybe. Yeah, what what are we not seeing? So we've done this. So press L2. Like go back to the, or no, this is it. Is this it? Which is the, press L, or left trigger. That's what it is. So these are all the ones that we've looked at so far. Wait, these... hold on. Oh, this will do it for you. This will, so you don't have to go through it. Yeah. Okay. What's this one? Have we done that one? Yeah. yeah. So what do you want? So go press left trigger, go to the pictures. And then looking at all these pictures, what characters have we not been looking at? Or what kinds of objects, you know? This person. The PA. No, the, the double. Is her name Amy? I don't know. Oh, oh, here we go. Let's switch and go again. Amy, that was great. I hope John is Okay, that's Amy. <gasps> John is supposed to pay me. <laughs> you think it'll work? Sure. You got Sarah and Ann, Lee Lockwood and Bob Dean. Two murders, two of everything. Biblical. What's the Biblical, word? great. Thunderbird. What's the price? Two bits twice. Okay, so the motion control race is going to play back what we do now. First, Naomi's gonna play Sarah. Amy, you play Anne. When we composite it, Naomi's performance will disappear. Story of my life. 
Barry, what do you uh, think of the dress? Swanky. Mm -hmm. It's a vintage Dior. Does it suit the town? Makes her stand out. Yeah, when, when Lee Lockwood sees a surprised look on Anne's face, she says, this guy? Like, who is that? It won't even take us anywhere. Not important, I guess. Women need a certain kind of attention, especially as they age. Not all women, but the type of woman I am. And what type exactly is that? That's Lee's line. OK, let's go. I just, I, the theme here is these angels keep trying to make a cool movie, and then a horny guy comes in and ruins it. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, that is sort of like the theme. <clears throat> the theme is someone horny and says, you gotta be horny, and then it ruins it. I think I might have caught some of Life's Strange 3, but that was what I think the last I was able to, yeah. That was a long time ago. <laughs> that was the last time I streamed, actually. <laughs> Tell them I'm dangerous. Compositing tests take one X. So this is post. Right. Action. Lee wants to know why you stopped seeing him. People always want to know why. Has it ever occurred to you that you're not in your right mind? <laughs> Who's to say? I'm in no position to judge myself. Nothing interests me less than explanations. It means nothing to you what my feelings are? You look older. Older You'd than what? like for me to hate you, wouldn't you? Well, I can't. And I won't. So what should I tell him? Tell him I'm dangerous. Cut. Let's switch and go. I'm just clicking That's until it takes me somewhere. She waits. No! Anywhere but here. Plan. <laughs> oh, this looks like a new scene. Scene 35, Alpha, take four. No, we've seen this one. Right. Everything here is Andrews. Oh, that's good. Have Ready to move on to the standing close-ups. Miss Perkins, you can flirt with Carl now. Okay. <laughs> you saw this one too. Hey. I I haven't seen this one. Scene two B, take four. Are you sure. I will keep running this until we've knocked the charisma out of you, Carl. Goodman is as handsome as you are, but he's less aware of it. Action. All done? A couple hundred pages left. All that reading, you'll go blind. I personally believe you learn more psychology in a week working tables than you do reading a textbook. Deviant psychology, though? This is New York. How about a wager? Another game. Next customer walks in. We both write down which table they're going to pick. I, that does nothing. Deal. Where you get your shirts. They're nice. Kensington Taylor's on 12th Street. I picked some up for my brother. They're expensive. That's OK. My brother's more of a tracksuit and vest kind of guy. Oh, hey, Tony. I got a table for you right over here. Yep, right here. <laughs> I'll get you some coffee, okay? Coffee. Want to click on anything? Wait, wait, wait. Back to the chef. <clears throat> Great. Let's cut here. Have we seen this one? Mm. Yes. Really? Yeah. I remember her doing that. Hi. Come join me on this behind the scenes of our movie, Minsky. I don't know this at all. This is That's where okay. we're shooting the warehouse, <laughs> where a lot of the okay. artists hang Thank out you. the story. My <laughs> character Danny comes here sometimes. She's a muse and an artist herself. 
We've been working a lot with artists in the New York scene. They have a lot of interesting ideas about how This is artists... boring. I don't care. I mean, we might as well focus on her, right? Yeah. Like, it's either we focus on her or we focus on the, whoever the other one is inhabiting, I guess. Devilish smile. I've seen this one. I wonder what happens if we click on some of the weird objects in that room. I think you're all. I think it's just gonna say sculpture. Oh, yeah. Good point. Interesting. <clears throat> I'll see you at the station tomorrow. You got. So we pull out, see the memorial, see the few kids left, this big pile of flowers, teddy bears, handwritten signs. In we come. You see, it's Maria. She stands. Where does she kneel? She's a ghost at her own funeral. Is she ready to acknowledge this death? Or must she still keep the distance? I decide later. I think now I'm processing. First Heather. First the child. Then she can heal the adult. So we stand. And leave. Around the corner. And cut. You know, for immortal angels that live forever, they sure can't get a movie published, can they? Like, that's kind of sad. I think that's the problem with being immortal. Like, if you have infinite time, then you can just keep trying until it's perfect, but nothing's See, ever. See, 14, 15, perfect. golf, take yeah. three. Maybe the other one's just like, dude, it's not gonna happen. Just release it. Just let it out. Start release yeah. anything. Action. Why would the rich, famous Maria like just live in a shitty apartment? That's my but, question. Maybe this is the devil's apartment now. Oh, or right. That, yeah. We have plenty. I'm just clicking on things until it takes us somewhere cool. Click on her butt. Can't. Cut. Kale Slate. Real Slate. I wanted two of everything. Oh, where you did that one? Cat. Cat. Take me somewhere. What is the purpose of Cut. this scene? Look on him, man. So we've seen this scene. Shitty wig. Her. Apples. Towel. Get out! Whoa. I guess he had some mixed feelings about the blowjob he received. Take me somewhere cool. It's nice, so. This has been my first time working here in Italy. And my first time working with. The great Arthur Fisher. I just want to say thank you for trusting me to be your Ambrosia. What a movie. I always say, you can't make an A picture without an A team, and this has been an A team. I like that the chat's really loving uh, Royal oh. Heather. Oh, yeah. I love Royal Heather. Is this just talking to me? Well, a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. Oh, Marisa, <laughs> you're a marvelous. You're going to get me excommunicated. <laughs> you ready for your close-up, Gino? <gasps> whoa, whoa! Hey, 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 hold on! <laughs> you can't just show boobs like that! Five Bravo, take three. And... action! Royal 
This bird was my sister's favorite. You had a sister? This is the source of your sadness? Yes. Matilda. She died of sorrow. Oh. What sorrow? She loved a man with a passion born of virtue no one loved as purely as Matilda. Who was the object of her love? One sadly already married to another. His bride heavenly and pure. Neither he nor Matilda did anything to inflame this passion, but the more virtuous he showed himself to be, <coughs> the more she was drawn to his life. Ew. She just likes unavailable men. Yeah, that's, it's not like, I hate when people tell stories like this, and I'm like, so she just has trauma and you shouldn't have done anything with her because she just wanted you because she couldn't have you? Yeah. Cool. No, no, it was a burning passion. Burning no. passion. No. The psychological issues. One day she confessed her love to him. Don't do that. Wishing not to be dishonest. Uh-huh. Despite her protestations of virtue, he drove her from him. He refused to see her again. A valid choice to make. He broke her heart. And killed her. Too severe a fate for so innocent a crime. This man's choices were ill considered. <laughs> You think so? He should have just cheated on his wife. Then she wouldn't have died. Come on. I like how he's just like, it was so considered. He probably shouldn't have killed her, but you know, that's how it is. Doubtless. I pity your sister. Oh, it's her sister? Yeah, I'd lie a little bit too. Then pity me. I have no sister father. Oh shit. <laughs> I am Matilda. I am a woman. You are my beloved. I concealed my sex and joined the Abbey to be closer to your holiness. This cannot be. But please, do not be shocked by my dishonesty. I acted out of love, a pure love given me by God. I do not wish to be a woman to you. Damn my sex. I wish only to be your friend. It cannot be. You have brought great risk to yourself and to my brothers. Holy Saint Rosio, did I misjudge your temperament? I thought you would understand. Let me be Rosario. Treat me as a man, but let me stay. No, it cannot be. If I were discovered, I would be destroyed. Oh my god. I cannot oh, understand. <laughs> <laughs> like, I thought I was gay, and I, that's like fine, because the Bible didn't say anything about that. Yeah, now you're a woman? That's wrong. By the way, yeah. General What's His Face was totally gay for ping. And when he found out that Mulan had boobs, he was like, done. Done. I just accepted I was gay. Find out you got boobs. I'm out of here. For my own sake. For, for the order. I pray you show compassion. I'm happy, Matilda. You have my compassion. I am convinced that your motives are pure. But you are blind to the prudence of your actions. My duty to you begs me to treat you harshly. You must be gone from here by tomorrow. Oh, should, like, buried alive in character. Surely you cannot mean it. You have heard my decision. The laws of the order are exact and our vows compel us to obey. I pity you, but I can do no more. You must leave. I have no choice then. Oh. I will not leave this abbey alive. If you lost your senses. They'll still know you were a woman. I'll still and be in your trouble. To salvation. You forfeit your soul. I care not. Paradise here with you. Oh, perdition without! Tell me you will conceal my story and retain me as your companion. Else this dagger drinks my blood. Oh! Okay, we're safe. There's a booby out. You didn't have to take the booby out, you know? That was didn't have to be part of it. I'm safe from my destruction. And we got it. <laughs> oh, the creepy horny guys are back. Coming in pairs. Well, a uh, bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. Oh, Marisa, <laughs> you're a marvelous. You're going to get me excommunicated. <laughs> All right. Oh, more of this guy. Seems like the... Martino. 
Here's one of those two Genos, I guess. Well, oh, just put it too far inside again. Nope. Oh. Marcel Dramis Persona saw every one of Marissa's roles. I can't remember. Oh, whatever. Wait, we can I can't remember all the faces. Ah. What's going on? I'm so sorry. Is it the tea? The tea? Yeah, I know you have a special green tea on your rider, but the PA could only find the regular stuff. It's such short notice. Oh my god, no, I don't care about the tea. Okay. I'd prefer a soda. Seriously? Yeah. Uh, honestly, I, I drink way too much of the stuff. My dentist says it's awful. I have one in the fridge down here. You have a fridge under your desk? I do. It's a little one. That's so sick. Thank you. You could live under this desk. Oh, I try. My wife said that she would divorce me. <laughs> <laughs> That's not nearly enough soda. Fuck you. That's like a huge mug, too. Why is it so mm. big? I love huge mugs, though. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Well, yeah, careful, though. Are. Like Scarface says, you should never get high on your own supply. Because you what? sell soda. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, it was uh, Elvira Hancock who said that, not Scarface. Michelle Pfeiffer? Huh. We're back in five. Oh. Lesson Four. number two. Don't get high on your own supply. <laughs> that is that is a great impression. Oh, you liar. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, do it again. Do what again? Michelle Pfeiffer and Scarface. Oh. <laughs> Folks, Marissa is going to debut a, a brand new talent just for us. <laughs> it's it's terrible. No, it, come on, you can do it. Okay, uh, lesson number two, don't get high on your own supply. Oh my gosh, <laughs> Michelle Pfeiffer's gonna have me killed for that. That's true. Big laugh from the crowd. And cut. We should do this for real sometime. Marissa, not, not Maria. Or, sorry, Heather. I'm sorry, I just read my pages on. I think John has some notes. Oh, yeah, okay. That guy's flirting with her so hard, and it's failing. You know, when I do my live show, we just do the one take, and then we're, and then we're done. But uh, this is also valid, I guess. Scene 22, 23, bravo, take three. Action. Let's welcome to the stage the one and only Maria. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for having me. OK, great. Well, so how are things going? You're just coming off of this big tour. Yeah, really big. OK, okay so um, are, you, are you getting back into the studio? trying to be but you know I don't I don't know so. audience laugh well yeah I love music <laughs> I'm sorry I don't think I'm doing this right can we start over uh, you know well, let's take a sneak peek of the video for your new single two of everything does that sound fun oh yeah it's really great uh, great uh Action. One more time. Okay. I'm, no, I can't. Yeah. My arms don't work. No, like I can't. I can't. Please, let's, let's, let's sit down. Okay. Oh, God. Oh. Okay. So you, how, how is home life? You, you've been with Mark for a while now. Yeah, it's good. Mark is great. Mm. He's um, very good looking. He is. Uh, he is a very handsome man. If. I feel like when people are like, yeah, they're great, they're great, they're very attractive, it's like, yikes, that's not so good. How are you feeling? I love my wife. Oh, you miss her? You want to go home? I mean, oh, you mean like, uh... In general. There's no way we're beating this game today. Okay, you want to stop? How close could we be to the end? I don't know. It's just... no clue. Now, if you I, there's no way of knowing. Kids. Do you want to stop? We can stop at any time, at any we second. Should... Okay. Zelda misses her wife because she's gay! Gay! She loves her wife! She's gay! <laughs> uh, save and quit. Thanks everybody for coming by! Thanks everyone. <laughs> Zelda's gay! Lesbian! Lesbian!